Hey guys, look Fuck here, and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review. And in this video, guys, we're reviewing the 84 rated Footmas SBC Moses Simon of Nantes. This card looks pretty good, to be fair. Um, I did, of course, do the loan SBC, which I'm so glad that EA have brought back the loan SBCs, even if it is just for free games. Um, I obviously usually use my players and reviews for either three or four games, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. And in the three games that I did play with this Moses Simon card, I did score me two goals and get me one assist. He's also got a five star weak foot as well as four star skillmers. We've got long interesting him stats. His main standout stats are going to be his 87 shot power, his 89 dribbling, as well as his 98 agility, and finally his 98 balance. And I did also have the maestro chemistry star applied to this Moses Simon card. And of course, um, you might kind of see nation and league wise and think it might not necessarily be the easiest card to link him to, but obviously maybe some of you guys got icons in your team where you can get like a little uh, orange league to them. And also, if you have got the um, Osmian card, I can't even pronounce the guy's name, the guy that plays for Lil, who got the, the league on player of the month card like a month or two ago um you can get a strong link to him which is what i did which is pretty cool and um he looks great. I mean, you know, fantastic pace, really good at dribbling as well, and even some decent finishing stats. And, and, and you know, it, it, it's pretty interesting because, you know, we had cards at the Di Maria card that was like, what, 150k or something? And don't get me wrong, I think Di Maria's player moments card's fantastic, but this Moses Simon card that does cost around 55k if you do his SBC, his full SBC, that isn't a bad price, but obviously you don't get any packs in return. It is just one segment, and it is a lot for an 84 rated card that isn't necessarily the most easiest to link into like in the world I mean he's not hard at the same time but he's not necessarily too easy either but um, I thought he did well you know free goal contributions and free games I couldn't complain about that I thought from his first pro would be his pace he is lightning quick he is so so quick down that uh, left hand side he just absolutely bombs it yes 80 stamina isn't the greatest it seems to be like a lot of left mids and, and right mids this year just got terrible stamina Um. I mean, 80 stamina isn't the worst. You can kind of work with it, but it's something that you can't really necessarily go and pace abusing throughout the whole game because you know, he'll just get way too tired, um, so that's just something to keep in mind, but when his, you know, stamina bar was good, and when you are conserving it throughout the game, and you get that ball, so he's got that, you know, stamina bar all the way up, he is lightning quick, and he can go past so many players with ease, it's not even, you know, it, it's ridiculous, and he feels even quicker than 95 pace, because of how good his agility, balance, and dribbling is, he's got that 98 dribbling, that 98 balance, the Maestro Kemsal takes his agility up to 99, also takes his dribbling from 89 to 99 as well, and combining that with four-star skill moves is an app absolute joy he just feels rapid and it's so easy to cut in with him he feels so smooth uh he can cut well into the box and stuff he's just honestly he's brilliant when it comes to that and arguably almost just as good as Di Maria the, the benefit of Di Maria is that uh, first of all I think he's got five star skill moves Di Maria which doesn't make much of a difference to me because I can't really use skill moves anyway but um, you know shooting wise I think they're pretty similar pace wise they're similar dribbling I think Di Maria overall has got maybe higher dribbling but Simon most of Simon's actually got the dribbling stats better in the areas for dribbling that actually matter more they've got similar stamina and I think most of Simon's actually got better strength as well I'll tell you what I don't think he's a million miles away from Di Maria. If if anything, just as good as him. Honestly, just as good as him, in my opinion. I thought his finishing wasn't too bad either. Although, you know, he did waste a, I thought, a few chances. Maybe that was just down to me myself. He did get two goals in the free games, which isn't too bad. But wasn't quite enough with the amount of chances that he did had. Um, I, I didn't put it down as a major um, like positive to the card. But his pace, his dribbling, fantastic. Couldn't fault that. Also, his passing, I thought, was pretty good. Yes, he even got one assist in the free games. But he provided so many passing chances to players like, you know, Ronaldo to... Um, the other Nigerian that I had in my team, Osmian, uh, I'm just going to have to say it like that, but I'm probably butchering his name completely, um, you know, to Ruby Costa and stuff. He linked up very well with them, you know, with through balls, stuff like that. He was really, really good. So I have to say on the whole, I think it's a fantastic card. I think the two SPCs that we've seen today have both been very, very good. And I'll, I'll be quite honest, I recommend both of them. I think um, Vitzel, they're actually similar prices as well. Vitzel's good because he can link in uh, very well to a team uh, for the Bundesliga and probably is now, in my opinion, maybe the best Bundesliga CDM. Moses Simon, there were a lot of obviously other really good players in league on the left hand side, you know, Neymar, Inform and Bappe, um, that player at the moment is Di Maria, um, you know, and obviously him now as well. But a full for his price, he was decent. Yes, he isn't the you know the most easiest to link into a team, but He's pretty fun, and even as a sub, he'd be pretty fun as well. He's very, very effective, and, you know, it's a lot, an 84-rated squad, and an informed just for an 84-rated card, but you've got to kind of think past that. He plays better than an 84-rated card, in my opinion. He feels, uh, as I said, not that far off, if not just as good as that Di Maria card. So, on the whole... 
yeah, I can, you know, I don't think he's like 100% maybe the best value for money in the world, but also at the same time, I think, you know, he is decent value at the same time. I don't know if I've made that very, I might have contradicted myself there, but on the whole, it's a good SPC for a decent value in my opinion. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.